What's the first thing that pops into your head when you hear the word biology? Maybe a cluster of cells, or a strand of DNA, or perhaps a forest. That all makes sense, as biology is the study of life and living things. But what not everybody realizes is that biology is a very broad field encompassing a vast number of smaller, more specific fields. Biology can be divided into two large groups right off the bat. Cellular and molecular biology, which would include immunology, microbiology, genetics, and neuroscience, and organismal biology, which covers ecology, zoology, botany, and of course, wildlife biology, my own area of study. So what do you think of when you hear the word wildlife? A panda? How about a pride of lions or a herd of elephants? That's all true, but wildlife is more than just the big iconic animals with which we're all so familiar. The dictionary defines it as all of the native fauna and sometimes flora of a region. Wildlife biology is the study of all animals, big and small, and specifically how they interact with each other, with their environment, and with humans. Like general biology, wildlife biology itself can be broken down into even more specific fields. Ornithology is the study of birds, ichthyologists study fish, and a herpetologist will spend a lot of time with reptiles. However, a lot of times, these fields work together because all of the people involved share the same goal, to learn more about wildlife in order to find the most efficient way to protect them. Since I was a kid, I always loved playing outside and being in nature. I would spend hours in the garden observing the different creatures I could find, often, to my mother's dismay, bringing home jars filled with snails, centipedes, caterpillars, ants, fireflies, and any other small bugs I could find. I knew I wanted to spend my life learning more about animals, and so it was decided. I was to become a wildlife biologist. Fast forward 15 years later and here I am at Northeastern University working towards that same goal. You may be wondering, well Max, what exactly does it take to become a wildlife biologist? As you may have realized already, wildlife biology is a very broad and interdisciplinary field. A good wildlife biologist will have training among all of the sciences as well as in other fields. At Northeastern, students studying wildlife are technically under the environmental science umbrella and we have to take a large variety of courses including chemistry, calculus, statistics, geology, and genetics. Most other institutions offering degrees in wildlife biology, such as SUNY ESF or the University of Montana, have the same requirements and even require wildlife students to take sociology classes. A solid understanding of all of these topics is absolutely necessary, but it won't do a wildlife biologist much good if he can't apply what he's learned in the classroom out in the field or in the lab. That's where experience comes in. Northeastern prides itself on its co-op program, a program that allows students to work actual jobs in their field of study for a semester rather than take classes. Wildlife biology students are few and far between here, so when it came time for me to embark on my co-ops, I had to be a little creative. I've had the opportunity to work in four different and amazing wildlife-related jobs, ranging from helping to collect behavioral and spatial data on wild lemurs in Madagascar, finding bird nests in Montana, tracking iguanas in the Dominican Republic, and taking care of waterfowl at a conservancy in Connecticut. There's no doubt about it. Wildlife biologists do hard work. All of my jobs involved a high degree of physical labor, hiking through dense cactus forests, crawling through thick vines, spending hours in the rain, and waking up before the sun rose. But after watching critically endangered rough lemurs groom themselves while hanging upside down or listening to meadowlarks sing as the sun rose over the prairie, none of these hardships mattered. I was doing what I love, being in nature. So if you're thinking about studying wildlife biology, do it! There's a drastic shortage of people in this field and we need more researchers, government scientists, wildlife activists, environmental politicians, and zoo directors. These are the people that work together to protect our planet's biodiversity, both for the sake of nature and for humanity. We need nature and her resources, so by protecting wildlife habitats, we're protecting our own as well. No matter what aspect of wildlife biology you choose to study, or where you end up going with it, you can make a difference for humans and for wildlife.